And we're live. Oh boy. It's podcast time. It is. Hey, Sean, doing, Paul. Good. Sean's not with us today, though, as you can plainly see. He passed away. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. I didn't, I didn't realize you had all the O's. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many I, O's. So good. <laughs> So he is with us in memory. As you can see, he's angry as he usually is. <laughs> That's actually supposed to be an animated GIF, but it didn't work uh, out. I think it's reason. almost better that it's just him raising his arms. I'm like, eh? <laughs> like pissed off Skel like Skeletor before he got the bleaching. Pretty much. <laughs> I just heard a laugh. <laughs> well, well done, guys. <laughs> they made it. They made it on. <laughs> Without even trying. Anyways, there's no opening topic. This is a top-down perspective. We are your hosts this week without Spook Booker around. He's gone. We'll miss you, Booker. Ah, rest in peace. Um, What is it today? It's the 30th of October. Holy shit. Yeah. Where's this it's year almost gone? Halloween. It's almost Halloween. Where's this week gone? I thought it was like the 28th today. No, oh, that, was, that was today. Oh man. Anyways, yeah. yes, it is almost. This is Halloween edition, then I guess. Hence, why we have the skeleton of Sean putting. That was just kind of like I knew Halloween was close, but I didn't know it was literally tomorrow or like <laughs> ten know, minutes like for the Eastern away. people. <laughs> like Happy Halloween to any Eastern people in ten minutes. I wonder, I wonder if anyone actually tries to go trick or treating like dead on midnight of Halloween. I don't know. No, I think that might be illegal. There might be probably, laws against that. But I have a feeling someone would try it because why not? Yeah, there are some crazy, creepy people around. So, um, I'm I'm just gonna jump in with what I played, if that's okay. Because Go for it. I don't know. Like I played Arma three, and I was expecting to hate why? it. It was on sale. <laughs> okay, okay, that makes sense. It was on sale, and I have a few friends that play, and they're just like, buy it, and I was like, no, and they said it's on sale for 50% or whatever. I was like, oh, okay, so I bought it without seeing the price, basically. I think it was 30 bucks. Um, that game is fantastic with friends. That game is super really? hard to play the campaign with, though, because it is boring and really kind of intense. Like It's like a war simulator, Almost like you have to kind of lead your that, shots that, with snipers that's the and stuff. Thing about Arma, isn't it? It is the fun thing about the online with friends, though, is that there's a mode in. There's two modes in it that are fun. One is called Life, and it's basically just like a sandbox that you can do whatever you want, like become a drug dealer. There's people that play cops. There's people that play EMS in, if you get Arma? hurt. In Arma, yeah. And the other mod is called Wasteland, and that is basically just an open like world in the from the main campaign that a bunch of players can go into and there's like different groups you can join or you can be like a mercenary type person and form your own group and it's basically like a team deathmatch sort of thing in an open world where you have to also survive so like you have to drink regularly eat food you can go like look for weapons you can buy weapons you can ride tanks or helicopters and it's actually super super fun uh just that kind of sounds cool. It was pretty fun. Like, I wasn't sold on it even when I bought it until last night when we were playing. And, like, we found a tank, and three of us were just riding around just destroying people <laughs> as we were going. And I was listening to a lot of Limp Bizkit, so my mind is a little hazy about what actually happened. But it was a pretty great time all around. And I Is that would... just what war does to you? Just makes you reminisce about Limp Bizkit? And it never changes. <laughs> <laughs> Another great time was when uh, the guy I was playing with is Ty. He's the one I play a lot of stuff with. We've played with him before. Um, we He was ride, driving a helicopter, and I decided to mute all the mics and just listen to uh, a whole new world while he was basically almost fucking crashing <laughs> into stuff because... <laughs> He was doing good until he decided to do this weird turn and almost dip us right into the ocean, but it was pretty magical nonetheless. I That is a game I highly recommend if you can get a few people to join in on it, because the, I think the player cap is like 70-something, so you could get... How, how old is this game, too? Like I think it's Arma's just like a year or two old. Like, Arma 3 specifically, I think, is only mm -hmm. a year or two old. But, yeah, I don't know. It's... 
It has some really great multiplayer stuff. It's a little dry for me for the campaign, so I probably won't ever play more than what I did in the tutorial. But that's not why I bought it. I bought it because friends. Playing games with friends is fun. Go figure. You know what, what? isn't very fun? The oh, evil boy. within. Oh, <laughs> uh, why is this game not fun? I really wanted it to be fun. So I got a, I have a confession to make. I'm getting okay. a little more into it. Because I have gotten to the point where I've played the game enough that the wonky, shitty-ass controls are just a second-nature thing to me now, so that isn't a hindrance anymore. They have actually released a patch, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, that there are options in the menu. You don't have to hack it anymore to take away the crappy bars that take up like most of your screen and to make it run at a full 60 frames per second. Okay. So they fixed that. Uh, they still didn't fix the fact that the best part about the game is its aesthetic and playing through it is kind of a pile of trash. Like, mechanically, it just doesn't feel that good. But I finally figured out what the matches are for, and they aren't actually for what I thought before, like the Crimson Head thing where you have burning to burn the bodies. bodies. They are for burning bodies, but what you can do is kneecap a fool so they fall down on the ground, and then when they are on the ground, even if they're not dead, it's basically an insta-kill. You can set them on fire. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah, so instead of like taking three shots to the head and still coming at you, you can shoot them once in the kneecap and like set them on fire, and they're done. And if you have a shotgun, which you get later on in the game, you can take out maybe three or four guys, make them all fall on the ground, set them on fire, and they will all turn on fire and die. So it's like a three wow. for one. It's pretty good. But now I saw Nathan posting that he was like playing the game on casual now. Are you did you do the same thing? I haven't been playing on a harder difficulty because I heard somebody saying that even the creators of the game said if you want to have a good time with this, play it on casual cuz hard is broken. What? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> I think that it, makes no sense. I think it has something to do with that there's probably always the same amount of uh ammunition spawns in every area. The problem is enemies take more bullets or something on a harder difficulty so they didn't scale that the actual like gameplay based on difficulty they just made enemies harder and they're already kind of like so they soak up bullets pretty well mm. so playing it on casual is fine i just kind of want to get through it and see the weird gory stuff and i mean if you have an affinity towards blood this this is your game. <laughs> there is a lot of blood in this game. Like holy crap! But um, I don't know. It, we Nathan and I had a discussion the other night, and I was telling him that the game is trash, and he is wrong for liking any part of it. And he said, "No, you have to get to the end of chapter four, at least, and then we can talk about it." I said, "Okay." So I got to the end of chapter four, and that ending is real fucking cool but I still don't want to play the rest of the game to see the more cool parts, so I think it still fails. So it's one of those you need to get past a certain point games? Yeah, and it does get better. It, I, I don't even really know how to explain it. You know the real annoying parts in Resident Evil 4 when it turned into, like, you're no longer in a horror setting. You're fighting, like, army dudes that are shooting back at you. And, oh, like, yeah, just the, waves the prison and waves camp or God. whatever? Everything from, like, that point on in Resident Evil 4 is, like, the worst part of that game, and that is most of what this game is. Oh. There's a lot of just, like, in an area shooting a lot of dudes and then continuing on. Are they shooting back, or...? There are some that shoot back, yes. <laughs> but, yeah. That is the evil within. I still want to see it through, because I want to see the more cool parts. And I want to jump into more vats of blood or whatever the hell happened. I don't even know how to... Wait, wait, what? I don't okay. know how to explain it. <laughs> Stop saying interesting things. I might have to buy this game. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you. I can't... Mm. Do we have any places in Calgary left to rent games? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Video Game Trader was the only place, and even then... Yeah, okay. Like, I... I'm glad I didn't purchase this game. Nathan actually purchased it for Steam and, like, the sharing thing is going on. Yeah. And the only reason he purchased it was because he wanted to say thank you for us buying a lot of games that he's been playing. 
So, mm. like, he felt bad that he was getting to play Alien Isolation and South Park and all these other games for free, so he decided to buy a game that I wanted to try. Nice. But it seems like he's liking it, so it still worked out for him. I am yeah, but still he had, not. Yeah, he had to try it in a weird way, though, because he had to get, like, the low difficulty and everything. Like, I feel like if you have to specifically put a game on the easiest difficulty to have fun with it, mm -hmm. you might be doing it the wrong way, or the game itself is the problem. I think the game the game itself has fought me every inch of the way to me trying to find enjoyment out of it. In fact, I took a highlight of when I was streaming a little bit of it. It's about an hour long, and it showcases in that hour every single problem I have with that game. It's really, really disheartening. <laughs> It's really bad. But, um, yeah, anyways, that's all I've been playing. So what have you been up to? All right, well, um, I've been sick. If you couldn't tell by the end of the last podcast, I was coughing a bunch. I kept having to mute myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I got full-blown sick over the week. I'm still a little stuffed up, still out of it. So I just kind of relaxed and played some games I've been working through. So, like, easy stuff like Hyrule Warriors, mainly what I've been spending a lot of time on. Okay. Uh, been playing through that, trying to work through the adventure mode. I've got, like... I, if I had to say how much of that map I got done, 75%. Oh, geez. Okay. That map is so big, and some of those challenges get ridiculous by the end. Like, I've, got all the, I've got all the characters unlocked now, though, at least. So. What is one of the harder challenges in that game? Oh, God. What even is one of the harder challenges? Um, there's a bunch where you have to play as like a character you either like just unlocked, and they end up being like, super low level. Like The last character I ended up unlocking was Zant. And he was uh, level 25, which, meanwhile, my best character, Link, is level 93. So um, it's, it's, a bit, it's been an interesting grind to try to get through some of the uh, easier or harder missions with, like, the super weak characters. But I'm sorry. It looks like you have a partner with you. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you talking about? Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, how you doing, Mr. Burns? Good, good to see you here. Oh my god! I, I wonder if I wonder if anyone actually bought that. I <laughs> that I didn't see that because my camera is on screen with yours, so I can see it in the corner. That's why I was stifling laughter for so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't hold it back anymore. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> I was you were doing so good too. It was the best part. I mean, anybody listening to this after, maybe you should be watching this on YouTube or joining us yeah. live. <laughs> watch us on the Twitch stream or like watch watch the YouTube version too. Yeah. You'll you'll get it. It's a it's a visual gag. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we try not to do those, but they get harder and harder <laughs> as we get tired and tired. Can't resist. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so um, you enjoying Hyrule Warriors still, even though Sean yeah. hated it. Yeah, no, I'm still enjoying it. Like, I was still in the mood for it. The only thing that worries me, though, is that it might end up, like, crippling my enjoyment of Bayonetta 2. Because, like, I feel like that's some of the energy, just kind of like a mindless hack and slash. Although Bayonetta 2 requires a lot more dexterity and focus. Yeah. So, I'm curious to see how that's going to be when I finally play it. I do I do have it. I just haven't uh, put it in yet. So. Yeah. Well, I need to pick it up still but when i have time i will do that the evil within is kind of holding me for whatever fucking reason still mm -hmm. you're probably just curious because you like resident evil and it's the resident evil guy so that is the only thing <laughs> keeping me going is that i know he's gonna pull it off somehow in the end but there's gotta be some there's gonna be crazy shit by the end i can imagine but i don't know it's if i'm ready small. i'm not ready for it <laughs> maybe Right now, I'm also trying to debate whether or not I should pick up Sunset Overdrive. I've been hearing good things. I'm like, maybe, but I don't know if I'm... It, it's getting to the point where it's like I have to pick and choose my battles. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Lords of the Fallen came out a couple days ago. That's and... the Dark Souls-esque game, right? Yeah, it seems more arcade -y, though. Like mm. from though. I've seen a little bit of some people on Twitch playing it, and it seems... Like, it controls very much like Dark Souls, but it's kind of more arcadey version, which is kind of something I'm into. I like that idea, so I'd like to really pick... I'd like to pick that up and try that out, but there's just too many things going on right now, video game-wise, that I don't know where to begin, really. 
Yeah. Other than that, you've been playing Smash Bros, huh? Getting ready for the big Wii U. I I just want the good controlled version to come out. I I went to EB Games to get my pre-order down, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Yeah, no, they we only have the game itself. We can't give you the bundled version anymore." Really? Yeah. Every time I'd go in, they're like, "No, we don't have it in our system yet." And then suddenly, it's already sold out. Wow. So I missed it. I missed the time frame on it. Wow. So I'm going to see if I can grab the bundle version from somewhere else, like maybe Best Buy. I'm sure they'll probably have a bunch. Hmm. I, ho- I hope. Yeah. I'm I'm just going to see if I can even get it. <laughs> yeah. Be, you, if, you can buy like the, the connector and everything separately, but I'd like to get the full-blown bundle just for yeah. shits and giggles. Like, yeah, just to say you did or like, I don't know. It's just easier, really. I'd like, I definitely would want that with the old controllers there mm. anyways that is it isn't it <laughs> yeah that's all we played that's all smash we brothers i'm even only playing because i'm like i'm so close to clearing out the challenge board how close are be- you now i've got nine left to do i think out of the problem five hun- yes so you've done 96 then yeah the problem is that my 3ds is off what the hell <laughs> that's a pretty big problem for trying to get those done i will say yeah Oh man, don't tell me that bro. Yeah, oh it Okay, it didn't charge overnight. Um uh, the problem is is that it just gets to a point where it's like grinding essentially. Like two of the ones I have not cleared yet are play ten hours of Smash as in like multiplayer locally. Oh yeah, okay. And then play fifty hours. So it's either I play by myself for fifty hours against the AI. Mm-hmm. or I find a bunch of people and then the amount of people you play with divides the time that you need. Oh, okay. So like if you play with four people, it counts as 40 minutes instead of 10 minutes, mm. for example. So then you need, it's easier to get that, those goals, but I haven't really met too many people locally that have it. Yeah. You should just go down to like the university or state or something, sit there and just see. If there's anybody playing, oh, I mean, they are, they have like the Smash like clubs that meet up every week. Oh so I just yeah, have, just talk I just to haven't, Brad. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been healthy to do it, so yeah. or uh, I've been traveling. It's one of the two. So, but at this point, I'm just like, I just want the Wii U version to come out so I can play the better version. Because even the modes that are going to be in the Wii U, time. yeah, uh, the Wii U version like has so many better modes. From what I can tell, it's that's just going to be the one I play. Just that's it. So I don't I don't even know where my three DS is right now, actually. It's probably plugged in now that I think about it. Mm. But yeah, the three DS is still my portable virtual console machine. That's what I use it for to play my old games on. Nice. I don't think I've actually downloaded anything like any virtual console stuff in a while. I was gonna get the new Shantae game now that it's out, but it's like twenty two dollars. What? Well, it's still cheaper really? than if you bought it the original. So, well, cartridge based, like yeah. the the original pays like on Virtual Console for like five bucks. So, oh, is it? Yeah. Hmm. But but yeah, no. Um, I'll probably get that in a bit. I like I know it's probably gonna be good, but like it's a really weird price, like twenty two thirty eight. Twenty two thirty eight, huh? Something like that. I I looked at it last time. Like this price makes no sense, even with taxes. Yeah. That's really weird. I don't know. Anyways, we should move on to news because it looks like Sean left us a whole bunch to go through. Sean was so nice to get us as many things as he could. Useless Pokemon bundle. 100 potions! Exclamation mark says Sean. It, yeah, so they're selling a bundle where you get both Pokemon games. So was it yeah. Alpha, Ruby, and Omega Sapphire? Yeah, but they're not discounted. It is as if you were buying both of them at full price. <laughs> Which makes sense because sure. that's that makes perfect sense. It does. But um the thing that they include with it to try to sweeten the deal is a hundred free potions. You will never die in Pokemon ever again you if you will... spend money. <laughs> like why normal potions? Because you're gonna get to a point in the game where you're like, oh, these are the better potions. Yeah. Why would you even You're using a hundred potions to make up for your lack of super potions, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. But I feel like that's only going to help early game, really, so... It is, yeah. So, is it 100 as in 50 split up between the two, or is it 100 for I... each? It doesn't say, I don't think. Like, I'm led to believe... I 
I'm led to believe that it's actually 100 for both because it comes with two separate download codes by the looks of it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. 50 each would make sense because you can only carry 99 of an item anyway. So yeah. that's probably what they would do. So they just fill your bag up basically with it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's not enough to get me to shell out another $40. Like, unless you're going in with a friend or something, then sure, why not? You're both buying your game and you're getting some free stuff, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I, I, it's pretty much for people who just want to get all of them. I don't I don't know people like that, <laughs> like, in real life, I guess. I don't know anyone like that anymore. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Yeah, I, no, never mind. Anyway... I, I, I was gonna say Emil. So. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought that's what he was like known for. So I guess it makes sense that he would probably just do that, get those hundred potions, swag that he'll probably just burn through immediately, or just like not even need at all. It's usually one or the other. Yeah. Hey, you have an Xbox One, right? I do. I don't. But if I wanted to get one for some dumb reason, I could get one soon for fifty dollars off. How do you feel about shooters? It's got a lot. <laughs> got a lot of them. the thing is i have this pc here <laughs> so a lot of the games i play just are basically on both i don't care a lot about you know destiny <laughs> that's like the one i go to that people are like this is why you should buy a console i'm just like eh, i'll wait a year Pretty fair if you're gonna play destiny you probably would not be getting an xbox one that's true i I mean, I f personally don't want an Xbox One. I do maybe want a PlayStation 4, but I, I'm i not bothered by it yet. Either way, if you want an Xbox One, it's getting a discounted price for holiday. It's going to be 350 bucks instead of 400 so you're going to save some save some Skrilla there. Skrilla? I, I don't know. I was searching my memory bank. Some fat stacks. Save, save some Skrillex. Save some save, Skrillex. Save some fat beats. That's right. Save the Skrillex and make sure you yeah. buy this holiday season. Here's the funny thing, though. Looking at this, there, <clears throat> yeah, some of them are like bundled with games, but they're also like the discount also applies to ones that don't have games, which seems a little bit wasteful for me. Yeah, like, like why wouldn't you just get the better one? <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just because like stock limits. I don't know. But, yeah, uh, probably. Weird thing for a while. Originally, this wasn't going to take place in Canada. Really? Yeah, there was a report, I think, the past couple of days where they're like, no, it's not going to apply in Canada. And then either today or yesterday it came out that it's only going to apply in Canada in the Microsoft stores. Well, yeah, because, I mean, they saw how good the Wii Mini did exclusive to Canada, so they know that we like video games up here. There's something <laughs> going on off camera there, and I kind of want to know, but I also don't because I, I will get so <laughs> sidetracked. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 all right um mario kart 8 new dlc excite <laughs> fuck sake excite bike is <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> uh yeah the new <laughs> Why is everyone I know 12? <laughs> the best part was when they started slapping into each other. <laughs> oh. Anyways, Excite Bike is going to be a stage now in the Mario Kart 8 D new DLC coming out. Best thing about that trailer, whatever that they release, is the awesome music. Oh, yeah, they did a really good remix of the Excite Bike like, theme, I guess, and it fits so well uh i think that's what two of the four courses or three of the four courses for the new dlc pack confirmed i think so yeah i think wario gold mines one of them there's a legend of zelda one or no mute city or which pack is that one of them gets mute city mm. and then this one and i guess maybe the last one zelda themed i don't know yeah probably <laughs> i'd hope so I don't know. I still don't have this game, but I kind of want it. Every time I see something new coming out for it, I kind of just want it to play every now and then. Mm. And then I look over here and I see Evil Within, and I'm just like... I, I just look behind me and then I just weep all the time. <laughs> just start crying uncontrollably. All right. So we're on Twitch right now, 
and we have shirts on. There's a reason for this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. It's not just for your own safety. It's also <laughs> because I don't be- want to blind with how pasty I am. <laughs> it's also because there are new uh, terms of agre- of service agreement, which states that you must be like dressed normally. You can no longer be. What's the term they used here? I don't actually have the thing open. Uh, it was like you had to be dressed like, at like you can't be scantily season. clad or whatever. Yeah, you you can't wear like a swimsuit or stuff like that. I'm I'm bringing it up here now. In related news, female Twitch stream follower numbers have gone down dramatically lately. <laughs> like actually, before this, or just as the joke? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay. Just a little misogyny yeah, that, mixed in there. Here, here's the comment here. Nerds are sexy, and you're all magnificent, beautiful creatures. But let's yeah. try and keep this about the game, shall we? Wearing no clothing or sexually suggestive clothing, including lingerie, swimsuits, pasties, and undergarments, is prohibited, as well as any full nude torsos, which applies to both male and female broadcasters. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a, a note off to the side here that says, If it's unbearably hot where you are and you happen to have your shirt off, guys, or bikini top grills... Then just crop the webcam to your face. Problem solved. Yep. There was one person I thought of when I heard about this news, and I went to his Twitter, and sure enough, he was just like, this is some <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> it was Caleb Hart, the speedrunner for Mega Man X Games. Yeah. What is it What is it with like speedrunners and taking their shirts off like half the time? I don't know, but... It kept happening during like SGDQ. Yeah, like... People that have watched Caleb, he doesn't usually wear a shirt ever because he works out a lot and he wants to show that off, I guess. One time I like was watching his stream and it was literally just him sitting there shirtless listening to music and doing Perler beat art. <laughs> just like, what? Just like, all right, <laughs> whatever. Let him have his fun. This is how a speedrunner unwinds, I suppose. <laughs> Was it? There's one last line here I didn't say. Mm-hmm. Uh, you may have a great six-pack, but that's better shared on the beach during a two-on-two volleyball game blasting playing with the boys. I If you click that link, it's that Top Gun scene. Thank goodness. Yeah. Thank- <laughs> Bravo will, to it. Yeah, you have to... You can never say that they don't know their audience or have a sense of humor. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, This... I don't necessarily know why that's a news article on here but it sure wait what this is i didn't even hear this yet yeah nintendo's okay this is the next one nintendo's releasing a device in march that will monitor your sleep yay and sean puts a few things down here like this is spook booker talking right now they mentioned wanting to do health-related devices before when their sales were down. I don't understand how knowing how restless you are at night does anything. I have a Fitbit that tells me how well I slept, but what do I do with that data? <laughs> I, I like how Sean basically writes what he would have said anyways if he was here. It's just like, please read this in my tone and they will know. Exactly. So that is a thing that's happening I don't know what they're going to do with that either. But... I assume they're going to do like a weave, something like that. And just like, here's how you can help fix your sleep. Do these following things. They'll just mm-hmm. they'll find a way to gamify it. That's what they need to do is just gamify simple things. Like sleep. Gamify sleep. <laughs> Why not? It's really the only it, time you're not, you can't play a game. It's really the only time that, yeah, I'm not playing a game of some sort. And so... I, I guess the shower, but that's a different story. Oh, I play different games in the shower, but we're not going to talk about that here. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny's well, first expansion was detailed for anybody who still cares about Destiny. I I'm pretty sure there's some people still playing Destiny. Oh, I I know that for a fact there are. <laughs> <laughs> I have some friends that are still playing it quite vividly, but um so the new DLC it's going to be called The Dark Below and here's some stuff you're going to get from it. You're going to get some new weapons, armors, and gear to earn, including legendary exotic items. You're going to get a level cap raise up to 32 and five additional bounty slots. New story quests and missions. I don't even know what that goes without saying. I don't even know why they put that here. Mm. Uh, new cooperative strike, the will of Crota, pits you and your fire team against Omnigol, as she works to expand the Hive army at the command of her master, Crota. Crota? Crota doesn't sound as good. Quato? Quato. 
I just Start really want to watch Total Recall. <laughs> I just want to watch Total Recall again. <laughs> Screw you, Benny. And you're going to get some more multiplayer arenas, competitive <laughs> multiplayer arenas, and a new so, raid. So, so you said the level cap only goes up to 32, right? Is that counting like that is technically only 30 right now? Does I that mean it's know. only going up two levels? I don't know if they mean that or if it's going to be like 40 with the light levels. Yeah, that would make more sense. Like, I'm wondering if they're taking it. What is it before 20? Like uh, 20, and then with the light levels, I think you can hit 30. Yeah, so maybe it's 32 normally now, and you can hit up to 40 or 45 with light levels or something dumb. That would that would make more sense. I would think. But, but if it was literally only like for with light levels, you can get two more light levels. Mm. That'd be the dumbest thing. Actually, you know what? No, it's oh, no. here. Yeah, light level cap confirmed. raised. Yeah, I am 3-0 confirms. Uh, only up to light levels. And you know what? It actually makes sense because this is only one new area. Like one oh. new raid. Oh, really? That's it? It sounds like it's one new raid I... and like some oh. new story quests and stuff. Okay. So sure. With, with, with something that small, then yeah, maybe only two levels make sense. With something that small, it's hardly even news, Sean. Thanks. <laughs> well, considering it was probably the biggest game release of the year, it makes sense that it'd be on here. Yeah, for sure. I'm just throwing shots because I know he can't speak back, which I'll hear about next week. <laughs> <laughs> PlayStation Plus's demo version of Drive Club is delayed until further notice. Again. <laughs> Isn't this the version that the Plus members get for free that just ha you can play the game fully? It's just you're missing features or something like that? Yeah, the problem is they're not getting it at all <laughs> yet because it's been delayed again. So if you were looking at forward to that. At least the game came out? Yeah, if you were looking forward to that, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't have a whole lot to say about that. I don't really care about Drive Club, like, at all. Sorry, I don't. <laughs> Do you? <coughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll just vibe for time no. here. No, okay. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. really wishing I really wishing I grabbed a drink for this podcast. It helps. Mm-hmm. Some soda here. I have vitamin C. It's not exactly a drink. Oh, it's about the same thing, really. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, you don't care either. Like, if you care about that, I apologize that you will never apparently get the demo <laughs> if you're a PlayStation Plus Th member. Thank, thank you. Oh, man. I, Random hand is super helpful. Home delivery with my, my RoboCup. That's a pretty nice cup. I saw you post that on Twitter. I like it. it it's is really that going to take place of your? Uh, it it might. It doesn't hold. It doesn't hold as much as the pipe mug, but this is a really sweet mug. It is really cool. Oh shit! Things just got spooky. I swear to God, if something jumps out at me, I'm gonna be. Oh fuck! That is so not cool. Oh, <laughs> that is so <laughs> fucking not cool. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> So, I, I love how my my first reaction was, wait, I don't remember having that mask here. <laughs> so, I have a phobia of seeing things happen in real time over camera feeds. <laughs> this is an yeah. actual thing, which is why Five Nights at Freddy's made me shake uncontrollably. So, thanks. Wait, 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 what? Really? I, oh, God, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, to be fair, I'm... I'm not in control of what's happening. I'll just say oh, that no. now. No, no, it's totally fine because it's we do this for entertainment. It's for the lols. That's all that matters. Okay, PS Plus for November. Finally, I can play Luft Trousers, says Sean. <laughs> I, I haven't actually Because he doesn't want to pay for anything ever anymore. He hasn't had to for a long time on Steam, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so... PlayStation Plus stuff. Here's what you're going to get, I guess. Oh, wait. This is what's leaving. Dustin and Legion and Tail. Spelunky. Batman Arkham Asylum. Dungeons and Dragons Chronicles of Mistara. Picks the Cat and Rainbow Moon. So, those are going to be gone if you don't snatch them up quick. However, you will be getting The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. SteamWorld Dig. Frozen Synapse. Luft Rousers. The Hungry Horde, and Escape Plan. Oh, Escape Plan, that's kind of cool. I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked that Binding of Isaac Rebirth is part of this. I'm so I'm excited. I'm surprised, actually. I'm super surprised. I'm so excited for that game just to be around soon. 
How much was it even supposed to be when it came out, Rebirth? Or is supposed to be, I should say, rather. It should be 15. If you buy it now as a pre-order and you own the Binding of Isaac, it will be 11 or 10, oh. one of the two. Okay. So if you've been wanting that game and you have Binding of Isaac, you should probably buy that in the next six days so you can get that $5 off. I'm super looking forward to it either way. I can't wait. So excited. I'm shaking from excitement and not from fear because of <laughs> your friend scary the shit. No, that didn't. It was fine. G oh, I missed one. Games with gold. F Games with gold for November. Viva Pinata 2 Volgar is cool, says Sean. I, so I assume that means Volgar the Viking and Viva Pinata 2. Yeah, so <laughs> Viva Pinata 2. Gorilla, or Red Faction Gorilla also, which is an amazing nope. game. That's a fantastic game. Yeah, so that's November 16th onward, and for the first half of November, it's Viva Pinata. All three and of I these games are great. <laughs> I didn't even realize Volgar the Viking was on Xbox One. Is that new? It must be new. Volgar the Viking is yeah. fantastic. People should play yeah, that. Yeah, it says Vol Volgar the Viking, the newest ID at Xbox game. Very cool. But anyways, yeah, that is those are some good games right there. Also, I added one more thing because I think this happened today or yesterday. YouTube now supports 60 frames per second playback, which is important to me because I don't like 30 frames or lower when I'm watching video games. It, game it can mess up some games. So. Yeah, so I'm super stoked that this is happening. I don't know what this means for, like, vloggers or something. Like, maybe this is good. <laughs> People can see you move your head or something better. I don't. Looks know. more accurate. I guess. Then you might get into this weird thing though, where if you're watching it like on a TV, it'll do that thing where it looks like you're looking at them, like just there because it's so fluid, which is a weird thing that soap operas do. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but people that have seen the phenomenon know what it is. Anyways, that's it for news. So. What do we have next here? Uh, we got emails. Yes, we do. We have two emails specifically. Topdownperspective at gmail.com, twitter.com slash tdppodcast, or facebook.com slash topdownperspective. Those are the best ways to do it. I guess you can mail John if you know his address. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not going to find it. I'm just saying if they know, <laughs> they could do that alternative as well. It has happened before. <laughs> it has. Okay, we're going to start off here with the email. Hey guys, it's Comet. I've been playing Fantasy Life for the 3DS since Monday, and I'm really enjoying it. Starting out as an alchemist, now branching into mining. However, I noticed the game has an online multiplayer option. Since my brother and local friends do not have the game, I, wonder, I was wondering, could I start a discussion thread, or if anyone can for that matter, on the Steam group asking if anyone else is interested in trying out the online multiplayer in Fantasy Life? The question also applies to other multiplayer games like Smash Bros. Thanks, Comet Shredder X. As <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, like I don't see why not. That the community group is a community group. It's yeah. there for you guys to use. Like the only reason I've been doing the events every Saturday is because I have admin privileges, so you guys can get together and just like maybe get some new people in. You can do whatever you want in the group that you have the privileges to. If there's something really important to you, hit me or John or Sean up, and I'm sure we can try to accommodate you so it gets out there even better. So, yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm okay with it. What about you? Yeah, I've got no problem with that at all. It's a good way to get use out of it. I think Sean is for it, but we will find <laughs> out next week. I will ask I'm him. I'm sure. I'm sure he's okay with it because he really liked all the trouble and terror sound things that were going on. Yeah. Okay. Hank has two emails he sent in. First one, what are your favorite final boss fights that are just really fucking dumb? <laughs> oh, God. The last boss... I don't know if it was dumb, necessarily. I really liked the last boss in uh, Devil May Cry 1, the first one. Oh. Like, Do you I don't mean, know like, the, a the actual boss fight or, like, the literal actual fight in the game? Like the Cause, whole because there's like the, the final <laughs> boss, and then there's like the little chapter off at the end. It's like, yeah, no, here's the final scene. Like the whole ending, basically. I just really, Inclu really including, like, including like the plane and everything. 
Yeah, it's, uh, like, would you say that's really fucking dumb? Like, does that count in this category? I thought it was cool. Kind of. The, the, yeah. the, the original, like, the Xbox reboot of Ninja Gaiden was also kind of dumb, because it's like, hey, here's this plot element you probably didn't pick up on that mm-hmm. makes zero sense with everything else you did. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Like, the ending for any Platinum game, really? More or less, yeah. <laughs> Um. Okay, one. It's not the end boss, but one of the final boss encounters in Silent Hill Two is with two pyramid heads with spears trying to kill you after oh, they yeah, just killed someone close to you. That is really fucking dumb for the reason that you don't actually have to fire a single bullet. It's all based on just how long it, the encounter lasts. You just try not to die, if I remember correctly. No, I think you can actually... Well, actually, you no, that's... Cause you I can shoot fighting. them, and if I remember correctly, if you, like, hit them a certain amount of times, it will speed up the process, but you can just run around for a while, I believe. Unless they change that. I only played the PlayStation 2 version. I didn't play the Restless Dreams or whatever that came out on the Xbox. Maybe it was something different. Uh, no, that was in Restless Dreams. That's the version I played. Okay. So that is a really fucking dumb fight <laughs> for that reason. But... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I like a lot of Asura's Wrath compared, like boss fights could be brought up for just being weird that and out whole there. Whole game was weird and out there, to be fair. Yeah, exactly. That's why I don't know if that really counts or not. I don't know. What about you? You have any? I'm trying to think of something else. Mm-hmm. Because I, I can just like there's fights in games that are bullshit but i can't think of anything that just like stands out as like oh my god what the hell or like just stupid dumb Mm. yeah i can't really i can't really lock down on anything in particular i feel that video game designers for the most part realize that a boss fight has to be an epic climatic thing and they try to focus a lot of attention towards that sometimes they fail and falter sometimes like maybe i don't know like I don't like a whole lot of two or three D Mario games or two two D Mario games for that matter. And Bowser's always kind of a joke in a way, except for mm. a few of them, he's kind of badass, which is real cool. But we should just talk about end boss fights we like. That's a funner topic. Anyways, his oh. next question: Who is the worst protagonist in a video game you can think of? Sebastian Cassiano of The Evil Within is up there. <laughs> Ryden in his first iteration. Ryden's oh first God. iteration. Yeah, it's really he's really bad. He grows on you after a while just because it's just a Metal Gear game. But yeah. the first time that you lose control of Snake after like twenty minutes to half an hour, you are pissed. I saw you the inside of your room, Jack. It was empty just like your soul. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, yeah. The end... Sorry. The final Wesker fight in Resident Evil 5. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good contender right there for the first question. (sighs) Like the bullshit? I wouldn't really call that... Well, no. No, just really fucking dumb. (laughs) Hey, man, don't you go dissing the boulder. The boulder (laughs) is the best part. It's really dumb. (laughs) And the boulder's the best part. It's, it's, it's the, be- the best part. It is the best part because it's really dumb. Unless you're playing as Sheva, then it's just like, oh, why am I doing this? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, worst. Pr- that's a really good, like, worst video game protagonist. Sebastian's a really bad video game protagonist because he has, like, nothing going for him that's original. He is just detective-ass detective Leon Kennedy ripoff. Mm. And he has no stamina, so he is always running out of breath. He is like the worst asthma ever. It's really <laughs> annoying. Uh, yeah, he's really high up there on characters I don't like to play as. Mm, I'm gonna tofu s- boy. What's that? Tofu boy. <coughs> yeah. Or tofu. Either way, I guess both of them. Tofu. Fuck. Oh man, the tofu survivor. It's such bullshit. <laughs> I love that they brought that back as a power up in that Dead Rising 3 DLC. That is so cool. Power up. That is the coolest thing they've done with tofu. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Uh, that's it for the emails. Now we'll go on to Facebook, I guess. Christopher right. Sparks. One, have you guys played with Risk of Rain's uh, two new characters recently? If you tried it yesterday or the day before, the experience bug is fixed. I have not. Mm, I haven't played Risk of Rain, so that'd be more of a Sean question. And he isn't here. That sounds like it might be directed specifically towards me and Sean. Because <laughs> yeah. I have played a lot of that game. Pretty sure. So... I'm going to say no because I haven't seen Sean log into it for Sean. I'll I'll eat my words next week if I was wrong. Two, it's Halloween tomorrow. What's your favorite costume that you wore? Uh, probably my Dante from Double May Cry outfit. Did you go out like trick-or-treating with... Does, is it uh, a trick-or-treating thing or just like... It was, it was a cosplay thing. I mean, one year we went out for Halloween with it. That was about it. But every other year was for costume contests and stuff. Right. Like Batman. <laughs> nice. When I was really, I, really young. I was a really unoriginal kid for like a short stretch because I didn't care about Halloween because I wasn't too into like candy. Yeah. But I was just like, I'm going to go as a DJ or a mime or a DJ mime. Nathan and I were having this discussion actually about costumes <laughs> and we were relaying stories of like that awkward time be like between when you're really old and like you have a car and a job or like you're finishing school and really young when you're going out trick-or-treating and you're just like I don't know whether or not it's appropriate for me to go trick-or-treating and like just like we both had stories where it's like we're not going trick-or-treating this year when we were like 13 or 14 and then last minute a friend or something comes over and says there's nobody out let's go get a bunch of candy and then it's just like whatever you can find around the house to make a costume sort of thing. I believe, I can't remember what his was, but mine was I took my dad's, like, trench coat, and I was, like, a detective, and I found a crutch that, like, somebody was using because they broke their leg, like, years before that we had around. So I was just, like, a hobbling detective or something with this sack for candy. It was just a really awkward moment for finding a costume. I think his was something dumb, too, like... It wasn't even like why didn't we just go as ghosts? The easiest thing to like the, improvise the bench seat with like the two holes in the eyes. The easiest thing, like God, we're stupid. Anyway, um, Andrew writes, John, will you be giving free tours of your museum on Halloween? My God, no. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know what's happening out there. I don't either, but it fit perfectly in there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, he says, just kidding. What would you say is the most fast-paced game you've ever played that was still fun? Bangayo. Uh, F-Zero GX. Mm. I really like how fast that game feels. <laughs> Even though, like, it's not really. It just feels so fast. And, like, maybe Sonic 4 in some spots. When, uh, when they did the game design right, you can go really fast on some of those levels, and that's really fun. I feel like if I was talking about a Sonic game that goes really fast, it would probably be Unleashed or maybe Rush. Yeah. Because Unleashed was where they brought in, like, the crazy fast day stages and stuff like that. Yeah, no, that's true. Was Unleashed the one with Rooftop Run? Yes. That's a great stage. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh okay, Twitter questions. Maxim Helm asks thoughts on Five Nights at Freddy's too. Funny that we're getting one already, but considering the fan reaction to it, not entirely surprised. <clears throat> Fuck that game, man. Fuck it. <laughs> it's not even funny. <laughs> I'm so upset about that game yeah, existing. You actually ended up playing it. What? You actually ended up playing it, or? Five Nights oh, at yeah, Freddy's yeah, you 1? Streamed it. You streamed it before. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, some motherfucker thought it'd be funny to gift it to me. <laughs> it wasn't, awful. It wasn't. oh, like, for anybody listening, it wasn't John either. <laughs> like, uh, I know what, that sounded the... like I was pointing at him, but I wasn't. It was... It's somebody. why Sean's dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason the one, he's the dead. One game he <laughs> the one game he bought, finally, was Five Nights at Freddy's for Paul. It wasn't Sean either. It was a guy named Oni. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I watched the trailer for it. It looks like it could be trauma-inducing. There are no doors to close anymore. 
and that motherfucking fox can jump at you from the darkness in the hall in front of you. Ooh. That's gross. I hate that idea. There's vents as well, so they can, like, crawl in through the vents. What seemed cool, though, is that in the trailer for a minute, like, your character that you're playing or whatever has the ability to put on a Freddy helmet or, like, a Freddy head. And I think mm -hmm. that's how you, like, disguise yourself from them when they enter your room because there's no doors to close. Yeah, because what they'd say, yeah, the, the lore says that the uh, robots go around and think that you're a robot out of its suit. Mm -hmm. So they force you into a suit, and that's how you die. Exactly. So you kind of, in this, I guess, instead of locking them out, you camouflage yourself when they're around. Makes sense. That would just keep that on all the time just to calm it down, but... There has to be a reason why you, like, there's gonna, there's gonna be a catch. Like, it probably, like, sparks at certain times. Like, it probably has servos in it that are constantly going, and it'll just, like, crush your head or something if you're in a too yeah. long. I don't know. Or, it, like, the sounds just start driving you nuts, something like that. I, you know what? I would be fine playing that game with that on and just keeping my headphones off if it meant that I can't fail it, because <laughs> I'm not gonna listen to that. Uh, next question. One press L2P... Since it's almost Halloween, what was the best Christmas present you ever got? <laughs> you got us again. <laughs> yeah, Final, Final Fantasy VI? Mega Man 3. That was a really easy question. Okay, Decoy Troy. Or, yeah. I'm sorry, what? I was going to say, that or like the TV I had for like 12, 13 years I played all my games on. Cause I remember the first year I got like. Oh, a did Super you have Nintendo. like a little TV for your room too? Yeah, I had like a thirteen-inch yeah. TV, like a little CRT. Yeah, and that's what I, that's what I gamed on till like the GameCube era. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, eventually I just started using like the house TV, but like. Yeah. Okay. Like it, it was convenient because it was in my room and it just it was on like a shelf. So. Okay. Like I I've played Metal Gear Solid Four on a thirteen-inch TV, so. Oh, that's weird. Highly, highly recommend against it, by the way. <laughs> highly recommend against that one. Yeah, because I remember when the Xbox 360 was like a new thing, and my friend got it, and he got Dead Rising, and he had like a 32-inch CRT. We still can, we couldn't see a fucking thing that was going on with the text. We didn't know where we were going. <laughs> so he bought an HDTV just for that game, actually, because it was unreadable on his TV. That, that makes sense. Thanks a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, Decoy Troy asks, do you, do any of you remember the first game you played and, or the first game you beat 100%? First game I played, Pong. First game I beat 100%. Pong. <laughs> you know what? It counts. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Mario Brothers. Yeah. Or Super Mario Brothers, I should say, because it's actually a Mario Brothers. Yeah. Super Mario Brothers for me, for both. So, next question. Lonely Days 17 asks, since Halloween is tomorrow, what's your favorite horror game to play and any any good horror game slash movie recommendations? Favorite horror game to play? Right now, it's Alien Isolation. Uh, Clock Tower, like the original. On the ending, or Super NES? Yeah, or, the, uh, or Silent Hill 2. Or 3. 3 is fun. Because I like the goofy alternate ending. <laughs> Fair enough. Because um, it just doesn't make sense with the rest of the game. Like, yeah, it's it's easily Alien Isolation for me. I, Other than that, Resident Evil probably one is still my favorite. The remake, if you want an actual ho horror like experience. I but, don't. I like, well, this is Chris's blood. Those crimson heads, though, man, they're fucking annoying as shit. <laughs> they're so bad. I hate them so much in that game. I like. I still prefer the original Resident Evil. And if you can help it, don't get the that Dual Shock version or whatever where they change the music. That music is absolutely oh, wait. terrible. They changed the music in the Dual Shock version. Yeah, it's really bad. I didn't know that. I, that's the only version of it I have. Director's cut. Dual oh shock. no! So when you go into the basement, you get that weird like somebody let their cat on a MIDI keyboard music. It's been a while since I played it, and I never actually beat the game. So okay, fair enough. 
after this is done, I'll send you a link to just listen to the two differences and goddamn they're bad. <laughs> the originality is starting to waver a little bit on your side. <laughs> This is like, and now they're just breaking shit in my office. <laughs> so. That'd be funny. They're you, really bad at this. It would be funny if you just saw one of them come in, just like clear your shelves, throw all the games down. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You're playing pong. Oh, there was a ball there. I didn't know what that other thing was. I That's thought it was ducked because I saw it in the in the reflection. Oh my fucking god. I'm, I'm glad Burns got closer so they could do that. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> he is taking up most of the screen now. <laughs> um how about you guys, oh. <laughs> how about horror game slash movie recommendations? Um Hmm. I really like the Friday the Thirteenth series, but that's just because they're also kind of cheesy at this point to me. Oh yeah, they're super. I I never got to see any of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, and I don't know if I really missed out. You did if you like cheesy. Oh uh, well, then maybe I will go back. And you watch have them. to see Nightmare on Elm Street Three: Dream Warriors. It is fucking fantastic for. Which is the one where like he kills someone with a video game? I'm trying to remember. You know what? They all kind of blur for me. <laughs> There's so much, so many dumb things in them. And if you want a young Johnny Depp before he became Johnny Depp, you gotta watch mm. one. But um, like legitimate recommendations. If you haven't seen it, I'm still gonna wave this flag around. Cabin in the Woods, the first oh, time. Oh God, yes, yes, very yes. <laughs> that is such a good. That is, like, if you haven't seen that, the first time you watch that, that is my 100% recommendation for Halloween. You have to watch it. Other than that, I really, really like Freddy vs. Jason for how campy and stupid it is. And in that regards, Jason X, it's just amazing. Uh, being serious, Alien is the best sci-fi horror movie ever made. Uh, if you like sci-fi nice. horror, Event Horizon's okay. It's still kind of dated, though. Um, Hellraiser one, like Hellraiser one and two, are okay if you like kind of gory stuff. Saw, Cube was a... sorry, oh, saw uh, Cube. Cube was great. Cube is a great one. There's like three or four Cube movies too. Uh, is there only two? There's Cube the whatever the Cube second two, one. Is. Cube, yeah, and Cube is a... Cube Zero. Oh right. Um. Yeah, the Saw 1. Well, actually, if you like gore porn type crap, all of the Saws, they're all kind of like that. But Saw 1's a legit good movie, though. Saw 1 is a legit good movie. Yes, exactly. I There's a special place in my heart for Blair Witch Project 2, Book of Shadows, and I can't explain why. It's just... It's there, man. It's there. Um, For that phobia that I told you about that, like, I've had all my life, Blair Witch 1 is terrifying. It actually, like, destroyed my brain for a few weeks after seeing it. Um, That's still okay. Like, it's not flashy or anything like that, but there's a weird sense of dread that you don't get from a lot of movies anymore just throughout that whole thing. I... You know what? I could go on for hours talking about horror movies, so we're not going to keep going. Those are the recommendations. Take them or leave them. Uh, a Fancy Brick asks, How is everybody? I'm doing good. Thank you. That's a great question. What was, what was the question? How is everybody? Doing all right. Waiting to get over this cold. That's a really nice question. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> Best it, question of the year. Put that on, on the it list. seems like there's a lot of questions that are just like... Give me recommendations <laughs> or something. It's just like, we're happy to do it, but sometimes it's nice to, for somebody to just be like, I'm just wondering how you're doing. It's like, yeah, we're doing we're doing fine. How are your guests doing? Are they doing okay? Uh, they're waiting for something funny to be said so they can probably come back in again. So, <laughs> okay. Or they are just walking past my door. Okay, either way. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, Macagoni asks... Where can I send donations for the upcoming John Wheeler video game museum? Oh my god, memorial? no. Wait, memorial? 
Emporium. Emporium. Okay, I heard Memorial. Memorial. I'm like, I'm not dying yet. Despite the ghosts in my apartment, I am not dying yet. I guess you could technically call it Jonathan Wheeler's Video Game Museum and Emporium in memoriam of Sean Booker. <laughs> Rest in peace, Mr. Booker. <laughs> Mr. Booker. That that isn't a serious question, so we should move on. <laughs> S underscore Knight twelve fourteen has two questions, and there are final ones here. How right. do you guys feel about Mark Zuckerberg wanting the Oculus Rift to sell millions? I think as somebody who has invested in it, of course he would want this. <laughs> yeah, that kind of makes sense. Uh, Why like, not? Why not push virtual reality? It makes sense. How would you feel about virtual reality Facebook app where you're like walking through pictures of your friends or something? I feel like the ads would be really obnoxious in that. <laughs> they really would be. I didn't even think about that. Holy shit, that'd be terrifying too. Yeah. Just like enjoying a nice day with your friend or a picture of your friend in the park or something and then all of a sudden... <laughs> you just walk around with like a two-dimensional picture of the friend like, how are you doing today? Then Good. all of a sudden it's just like that. article from The Onion right in your face, top promoted post. <laughs> it makes no sense at all. Uh, his final question is for Paul, well, for both of us, film question of the week. With the exception of Alien, what is your favorite horror film? Audition is one of mine. Audition is fucking fantastic. Good choice. Audition? Audition. Um, yep. Favorite... With the exception of Alien, I kind of answered this with the last one myself. What about you? Favorite horror movie? Probably probably Saw, and if we're not counting Cabin in the Woods. I think we could count Cabin in the Woods. Monster Squad is fantastic, too, if you like and want like an 80s Goonies-style weird horror movie thing, like a Halloween movie. It's not a horror movie. It's a Halloween movie. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm good with the answers I gave a while ago there. Oh, Halloween is actually one uh, of my legitimate favorite. Ho- I watch it I, every year. I, I so. finally got to watch it last or earlier this year because for some reason in the middle of the summer there was a Halloween marathon. <laughs> oh. And yeah, I know. <laughs> and I was just like, eh, it seems all right. It seems like a tense movie, but I wouldn't really call it scary, just tense. It's methodically paced, though. Like, it, yeah. it takes a while. It's one of those things that if you want, like, just scares. That is not the movie for you at all. Yeah. There, what it does is a creepy, at, creepy atmosphere that kind of reaches reaches its culmination when he starts attacking, basically. But yeah, that's it for this week, I guess. Yep. Yeah. What is your game of the week? Uh, out of all those games I played, um, probably Hyrule Warriors. It's Arma Three because fuck the evil within. <laughs> for me. <laughs> No recommendations on that one, apparently. <clears throat> I don't know, man. It, we have, okay. We have one more question, and this is what we're ending on. No more. It's on Twitter oh. here. Oh, boy. Gira Bell asks Any chance I can be an archivist or c- conservator at John's Museum? Conservator, I guess. We need an answer, John. No, we don't. Send me a resume. We'll talk. All right. That'll do it for us. If you wanted to email <laughs> us, topdownperspective at gmail.com. You can get us on Twitter at TDP Podcast or Facebook, facebook.com slash topdownperspective. Sean will be back with us next week. Goodbye. See ya.